It's been almost 100 days since the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a global pandemic. And I wanted to make this video to talk to you about living and studying during the COVID-19 pandemic. I was in Switzerland on a school skiing trip when I learned about the first case of coronavirus in Bahrain. It was all new and surreal, like something out of a movie. And during the trip, we followed the news over the internet. And our teachers also kept us updated with the latest. On our way back, we had to wear masks and use hand sanitizers frequently during a flight and in the airport. But that was all okay because we felt safe once we arrived back home. But then, cases started increasing. Schools were shut down and the shops were closed. So we all had to stay at home except for emergencies. And we had to wear masks, wash our hands often and maintain two meters from everyone else. So it started getting real and it started getting a little scary. And at that moment, I wasn't sure what would happen. So then, we got an email from school telling us that we'll be learning from home. Every morning, we would receive our list of assignments for the day, covering all subjects. And it would take us anywhere up to five or six hours to finish. I must say that I'm very lucky I'm in St. Christopher's school because they managed to just take those five or six hours and mold them into something fun and interactive instead of something down and boring. So far, we've done everything from growing vegetable roots to researching the world's wonders, to baking cakes, to recording music videos, to creating electronic games and so on. And we got the chance to work in groups to start our own virtual business. Even PE was given a twist with a family-friendly version of Sports Monopoly. It was awesome. I loved it. And I managed to score quite a few awards and certificates in the process. But then, something amazing happened. Our king came on TV just for us students. Just for us. He left all his important king stuff for us. أبنائي وبناتي الطلبة والطالبات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. He spoke for almost an hour on how important us students are for the future of Bahrain and therefore how important it is for us to stay safe. He promised us that all the decisions he will make would be for our safety and he thanked us so much for all the hard work and encouraged us never to give up. He gave us students the motivation that we all needed. I really think he's the best king in the whole wide world. So I listened to his advice and tried as hard as I could to remain positive. So life at home for the first few days of the lockdown was a mess. I had no idea what was happening until, that was, I made a schedule. I made it a crucial point to start my schoolwork right after breakfast, so that way I could finish it by lunch and do whatever I wanted in the afternoon. I made some time for things I like, like reading, swimming and gaming online. And I did things my parents told me were good for me, like my karate, writing, and exercising. I built quite a few Lego sets, as you can see here. And now I'm halfway through building a huge Batman car. And next, I'm going to build the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. What am I going to do after that? And how long is this pandemic going to last? I don't know. And... I don't know, but I intend to make the most of my time at home, that's for sure. 
if I am allowed to give my fellow students some advice, I would probably say the following. Number one, don't take anything for granted. You never know what can happen. And even basic things like going out, visiting friends, shopping and traveling could stop without warning. Number two, follow all the social distancing recommendations. I know it isn't easy, but the rules keep everyone safe. And by following the rules, you become a member of the Corona Fighting Team Bahrain. Number three, stay active as much as you can. Exercise makes you release stress and feel more relaxed. So it's good for your body as well as your mind. Number four, take advantage of the new free time and find a new hobby. You never know what you may end up liking. Try as many different things as you can. You won't have this much free time once things come back to normal. Number five, last but not least, be nice to your parents. They need your support and let's face it, they're just an emotional mess right now. And now I have some advice for all the parents out there. So parents, please listen up and please pay attention. Number one, I know you expect us to be absolutely perfect and do our schoolwork 100% right and not to spend too long on our iPads and so on. But remember that we're scared as well. We're stressed as well. We feel the same way as you. And sometimes we're just gonna need to be given a break. Number two, talk to us and tell us the truth about what's happening. We hear the news and are connected with social networks. And when you don't tell us how bad the situation really is, we can sense it from your behavior and your tone. And we worry even more. Number three, make some time for us. I know you're working from home, but to us, it's like you're just at home. That means we need your attention. So take a five minute break every hour or so and check in on us, please. We really do enjoy it. Number four, accept our less than perfect behavior. We get stressed, we get bored, we show it by behaving badly. We really don't mean to upset you. It's just our way of venting. And this is the first pandemic we live through. So please, don't take it personally. Well, all that I have left to say is thank you for watching everyone. Stay safe and hopefully this pandemic will end soon and life will go back to normal. Bye, have a great day and hopefully I'll see you soon.